Listen, XG are the future of K-pop. I'm telling you right now. The sounds and the unique concept that they're going for, XG is literally going to be at the top of K-pop in the next year or two. I'm telling you right now. Because their sound and their style is completely different to what you hear in a typical K-pop song. It's completely different. Like they're breaking boundaries outside of K-pop. They're bringing something unique, different to the genre of K-pop. Because if you know K-pop, I would say about 90% of the songs in K-pop are pop songs. They're very poppy songs with, uh, there's an occasional songs there that are experimental like Espa with very synth based heavy production. But they're still pop with, well, that would be like experimental pop. They're still pop, but in the experimental pop lane, where you have Espa doing these synth heavy based experimental type beats, which are still pop, and having different types of beat switches in it as well. That's still on the pop genre. That's still in the form of K pop, in the pop genre. But for XG, they're completely different because their style is RB and hip hop based. Majority of their songs is hip hop and R and B based, which is shown in their um, songs because it you can tell clearly that they're massive fans of hip hop and R and B. You can tell in their music it's clear that they're massive fans of hip hop and rap, and they're using those inspirations they had for other artists. For hip hop and R&B artists, and they're making it their own sound, a different sound, which is very different in K-pop because majority, like I said, about ninety percent is pop. It's pop in K-pop. They hardly like. Which group do you know besides XG does R&B? Tell me, tell me. There's no one. There's literally no group besides XG right now that's popping in K-pop is doing. R&B, maybe an underground K-pop group that's not popular is doing it, but I'm talking about K-pop groups that are popular. Who do you know is doing R&B and hip-hop? Well, a lot of them have hip-hop in them because every K-pop group has a rapper in it. So they're going to have like rap bits in it, but only a little bit. Like I said, with XG, if you hear their songs, they split it like 50-50. 50% R&B and 50% hip-hop. You can tell that that's what they're going for. Clearly, if you look at a song like Left Right, you can tell that that's a very R&B inspired track. That's an R&B inspired track. That's And then if you look at Shooting Star, that's a hip hop inspired track. They're contrasting hip hop and R&B 50-50%. That's what they're doing with their sound. And, what they, and if you know XG, right? They're comprised of four rappers and three singers. Four rappers and three singers. But the rappers also sing as well. All the rappers can sing as well. That's the good part about XD. They're not putting the they're not put in that rap position because they can't sing. Like other K-pop groups usually put the rappers in the rap bits because they can't sing. That's not the case for XG. All of them, all of them can sing. All of the rappers can sing. For real. And the singers as well. Oh my goodness. Listen, when you have Chisa, Julia, and Hinata, oh my goodness. Their chemistry when they're singing, they bring some very different versatile um, vocals in their performances in the songs. And the rappers, let's talk about the rappers first. Let's talk about the rappers. All the rappers have a unique sound to them, which is very good. They don't all sound the same. Let's start off, start off with Maya. Maya has a very, like, her rap style is very differential, where she can switch flows here and out like that. She can go from a melodic type sound to a very fast rap and into a very aggressive sound so she can she's very good at switching to different styles of rap that's one of Maya's best traits in rapping then you have Kok 
Kokona, I think that's how you say it, Kokona. Oh my goodness. Like she just brings that aggression, that she brings that, you know, that passion, aggression into the rap. Her rap is, oh my goodness, you feel it. You feel the passion she has for rapping. You can tell she's a massive rap fan because she really brings everything to the table when she's rapping. Her flows, oh my goodness. She has like, dude, just listen to the XG cipher. Just listen to the XG cipher. She switches her flow like three different times in that cipher. Oh my goodness, I'm telling you right now. She like she's one of the best rappers in XG for real. Oh like oh my goodness. Like she's honestly right now, she's one of the best K-pop rappers in the fourth gen right now. Eas easy easily. I'm telling you, easily. And she can sing as well. And next we have Hinata. What do I have to say about Hinata? He I mean not Hinata. Um uh Harvey Harvey she's the other rapper the next rapper I was talking about Harvey oh my Harvey Ooh, Harvey listen like I said they all bring something different Harvey her voice she has one of the most unique voices I've heard out of everyone not just k-pop everyone she has one of the most unique rapping voices I ever heard like her voice her very high-pitched voice Oh my goodness, what? She easily, easily has the best voice in XG. She's not the best singer in XG. She has the best voice. The best voice. Like her unique voice. Like it brings something different to the group XG. Listen, her voice is so amazing. The high pitch. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you. Who has a voice like Harvey? Listen, who has a voice like Harvey? Not to mention, she's very good at rapping as well. Like, infuse her voice with the rapping. Oh, my goodness. That is a dynamic duo right there. Oh, my good. Listen, what? Like, oh, my good. She stands out out of the XG members because her voice is so unique and different. When I first heard of XG, XG. I didn't know any of the members' names or their voices, but I could differentiate Harvey because of her voice, the high-pitched voice. You can tell it's rap Harvey instantly when she's rapping. You can tell instantly that that's Harvey with her voice. It's so unique that you can tell that that's Harvey. And the next rapper, Jurin. They're also the leader and dance leader. What do I have to say about her? Turin? Oh my goodness. Like I said, she can switch easily from singing to rapping in an instant. Like she does so much in the group. It's insane. Not just for rapping, but her singing as well. She's just important as rapping and singing in the group. She has like the same amount of importance in the singing and the rapping and dancing department in the group. Like that's why she's the leader, Jurin. Because you can tell that she's very focused. She's very focused. She really wants her group to succeed. She doesn't give up on nothing. She I can tell she motivates the group right there. I can tell she's a motivation to the group. Because you, because you can tell, you can feel her presence, her stage presence. You can feel it, her stage presence. She's there to perform. She's there to show you that I'm the real deal. We're the real deal. XG, we're the real deal. Now let's move on to the singers. We'll start off with Hinata. Hinata, out of the singers, has a very, I'll say, delicate voice. She brings a very, like, delicate voice to a different tone to the singing line. That's the role I get from Hinata. And she works well with the other singers to balance that delicate voice with. And the next singer we have is Julia. She has a wide range of vocal. Like she can go from a very high pitch vocal to a very low pitch vocal and into a very mid-range stable vocal. Her range is so like, oh my goodness, the width of her range is crazy. 
what she can do with her voice it's amazing it's amazing then next you have chisa who listen chisa you can just tell she was made for singing she has the best voice for singing in xg like her voice it was just made for singing you can tell that she was just made to be a singer if you hear her singing it uh, it just sounds amazing every time she's on the song singing oh my goodness it just elevates the track it just elevates the track anytime she starts singing in the songs when her verses come up in the songs oh my goodness it just elevates the track to a different level it just does because her singing is that good so xg they can sing they can rap now let's get into their dancing. Oh my goodness. This is why I say XG is the future of K-pop as well. They're dancing. Wow. Wow. Are you serious? Bro, listen. With K-pop groups right now, they really have basic choreographies right now. They do. They honestly have basic choreographies right now in their groups. But for XG, if you look at their choreography, they're so complex and unique. Oh my goodness. Like, their dance choreographers are giving them like the hardest. They're trying to give them the hardest choreographies ever. And their synchronicity in it. Oh my goodness. Bro, their synchronization in it. They got every move perfect what i'm telling you and the choreography is so hard it's so hard i'm telling you their choreography they're doing it's like brah the only fourth gen group right now that has this like same level difficulty of choreographies is itzy but itzy is like dance focused though itzy are dance focused though that's why their dance choreographies are so unique and complex them and itzy xg and itzy have the hardest and best choreographies in k-pop right now easy easy easily i'm telling you and also xg is the only k-pop group i'm aware of right now that does cyphers like that tells you how tapped in they are into like the culture of hip-hop like because in hip hop cypher is a massive thing like look at their xxl they do cyphers for the upcoming artists they have cyphers so i can tell that xg are massive hip hop fans when they're doing cyphers and this is also good because it gives the fans something to listen to when they don't have a comeback or when they're on break because when they don't have a comeback or when they are on break that's when they usually release their ciphers where you hear the rap line do what rap over different beats from popular songs and i'm telling you right now just listen to this cypher you won't be disappointed you won't be trust me you won't be disappointed it sounds amazing and not to mention not just the rap line doing ciphers you also get the singing line doing covers with their own unique flair to the singing. They bring something different to the singing. Like they add different verses to the singing, different melodies to the covers. They, when they do the covers, the singing line, they switch up the song where the instrumentals is still the same, but they um, switch up the melodies a bit of the instrumental and maybe have a uh, more lo-fi um, sound to it like if you look at the covers they done before it's the same instrumental just in a different melody and what they do with their voices on there is they do the covers but they bring their own unique flavor to the cover like it's not word for word one for one copy of the actual cover they bring something different to the cover they make it their own that's what they do which is what I like about XG. Listen, XG, if you don't know now, Hinata, Chisa, Juria, Jurin, Maya, Chisa, Kokona, Harvey, they're the future. They are the future of K pop. You heard it here first, XG is the future. I'm telling you, 
Just you wait. Them doing R&B because look, look at all the stats they have. They're very unique when they are like the only group right now doing R&B and hip hop focused. Hip hop focused and R&B focused. They're the only group doing that. And you have them doing complex and very unique dances. Then you have them doing cyphers. Then you have them doing covers using their own unique flair to it. Oh my goodness. XG is going to go very far. I'm telling you right now. In a year or two, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, they'll be one of the biggest K-pop groups ever. I, I guarantee, I see it. I see it. And their music. They like listen. The so all the songs they've released sounds so good and different. It's not like any like if you compare left right to shooting star, it could it sounds completely different. It's not the same style. And let's talk about their fashion. You can see that's very different to K-pop fashion. Their fashion style, their fashion sense, it's very unique. They have a very like unique style fashion sense which 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 just adds to the categories of like stats of achievement and their songs each songs from xg sounds completely different they have a very unique style when they're singing it sounds completely different to each song like they don't state the typical formula for each song they try to make it different for each song like if you compare left right to shooting start completely different different because you can see that left right is an r&b focused track then you can see shooting star is a hip-hop focused uh, uh track they're differentiating with their sound they're making sure that all their songs are bringing something different to their music they're trying to have a catalog that doesn't sound the same each track. Where I feel like a lot of K-pop groups have songs that sound the same. They go back to the their normal formula. With XG, they're breaking their formula and trying different sounds each time.